I'm going to look at this SSD drive here today. Whatever. We'll look inside it, pull it apart and have a look. This is actually a bad drive. I was using this drive for a while on my one of my machines. And it's a 480 gigabyte SSD. So at the time this was actually quite an expensive drive to get. And one day it decided to fail. It basically shorted out the power supply and killed my computer. Once I unplugged this drive, the computer was able to start up again. We'll have a look at this and um, we'll open up and see what's going on. I have already been in here. That's what the seal was missing. But that was ages ago. So the Eagle Eye of you may have seen this drive sitting on the back of my desk for quite some time. I've had it sitting here in a pile at the back as a project to get to one day. Anyway, finally got to it. I'm trying to get rid of all these projects I've had sitting here waiting for me to do them. Have a bit of a clear out, get my desk cleared off and get tired of the mess to be honest. So <laughs> but let's get through these little projects, all these little things we've been meaning to do for ages. Let's get rid of them. And this is just one of those. I thought I'd do a little video on it and see what's going on. Top cover. This drive is broken anyway. I'm not going to be resurrecting it. I don't care about anti-static. In this situation, no gloves, no anti-static strap, just the bench. That's what's in it. Whole bunch of NANDs. TH58TAG802 FBA, I think it is, 89. A few devices which aren't populated. And obviously that's the controller chip for it. And a whole bunch more of the same devices that side. Now when I actually looked at this originally I did actually check for some short circuits on like capacitors and stuff like that. And I couldn't find anything. Nothing obvious anyway. So I don't actually know what's wrong with this. I just know it killed my computer. It killed the power supply. So I'm thinking it's one of the active devices. Don't often get the seals inside an SSD. And it's an AWC and I've heard bad things about AWC drives, I don't know. But this is the first one I've had fail. Now you may say, oh, well it's got a whole bunch of data on there, I should probably do something to secure the data and make sure that no one can possibly get the data off. Well yeah, there is that. Let's do something about that. So there's one way to make sure people can't get the data off this thing. It's literally take the data off the ball. There you go. Get all the chips off. Don't have to worry about data now, do I? <laughs> Let's go a step further. I've got my bench power supply set at 30 volts, set it to 2 amps. Let's just short these chips out. Yep. I'm pretty sure shorting these out would uh, blow them up, eh? Doing the both priorities because she never quite knows what she's going to get, do you? There's a good one. That would. <laughs> The ship's definitely dead now. No data leakage from me. 